Hello, my darlings. Um, welcome back to Lexi's uh, tarot card reading. Um, today I will be doing a reading for my water signs, <clears throat> water element. Um, so let's, before I get to that, um, Yeah, as you can see, I have my um, headset on with my microphone so you can better hear me. I have this other camera. <clears throat> I'm thinking on um, buying a better camera than this um, so you can have the best quality readings. Um, I'm also going to put a paint there so it won't be so empty. Um... I just want to add that I am clear sentient. I'm an empath. Um, <clears throat> I can I can feel people's emotions. Um, I'm clairvoyant and clear cognizance, which is like sometimes I know things just because. <clears throat> and I also have the ability to, if I wanted to, uh, become a medium. Well, I am a medium, but, like, um, strengthen the ability. Um, because I can see sometimes, uh, spirits, uh, whatever you're gonna call them, ghosts. I can hear them. Um, I could dream of them. <clears throat> Sometimes I could just even smell them. So let's get uh, straight to the reading. I will be doing a reading for my Pisces, my darlings. Let's see what's going on with you. I will put my camera down so you can see. Garden angels and spirit guides, can you please give me a message for my beautiful Pisces? <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Alrighty, garden angels and spirit guides, can you please? Give me a message for my Pisces. I'm shuffling them wrong. A message for my beautiful Pisces. My beautiful family. <clears throat> what message do we have for Pisces today, Garden Angels and Spirit Guides? What message do we have? for my beautiful Pisces today. So, um, sorry if I say um so much. I, f I get my, when I'm getting like a message, I'm just like, um, um, so I'm sorry. But I feel like someone is walking away. Um, my bad. <laughs> I keep saying, um, uh, they may be full of burden, burdened. Um, this is a ten of wands. <clears throat> okay, my, my, my. <clears throat> 
We got the Nine of Wands and Reverse and the Temperance in Reverse. And we got the Chariot upright. And at the end of the deck, we have the Two of Swords. Nine of Wands in reverse, <clears throat> Temperance in reverse, in the Chariot. Okay. And the Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So, what I get from here is that <clears throat> you're tired of being patient with someone, like they done got on your last nerve. You're tired of giving them a chance. Um, and you're just leaving as fast as you can. You've made up your mind about this. Uh, could it be a Taurus. Could it be a Capricorn. Or a Virgo. This earth sign. <sighs> So I will ask the guardian angels and spirit guides why is the two of swords here? <clears throat> guardian angels and spirit guides, why is the two of swords here? What's going on in this situation? We have the High Priestess in the Six of Cups. So yeah, you use your intuition to make this, um, this decision. Um, your intuition could have been like, you know, screaming at you like, hey, we need to get out of this because maybe in this situation, um, you know, um, it was an 11 situation. There weren't, um, like, treating you right. You know, you may be giving them lots of love, and they weren't. And at the bottom of the deck, we have King of Swords. So, yeah, they could have been core towards you. Um, <clears throat> they could have been ignoring you with this Four of Cups. Ignoring your love. And then we have the Nine of Swords. So that would that was making you feel really bad. <clears throat> Maybe you could have even found out about something. We have the of Swords with the Moon. Maybe they were cheating. Something. So I will ask my Guardian Angels and Spirit Guys why the Ten of Wands is here. Guardian Angels and Spirit Guys, why is the Ten of Wands here? So yeah, the chariot is cancer. So you may have um, been dealing with the cancer. You may have been dealing with the air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and or Libra. <clears throat> we have strength. So this situation could have um, taken a lot of your energy. Um, he may have, or she may have been juggling you. <clears throat> Garden angels and spirit guides. Why is the nine of, of wands here? Garden angels and spirit guides. Nine of wands. Six of Pentacles, like I said, he wasn't sharing his love. He wasn't. 
he wasn't communicating. He didn't want to be um, victorious in his relationship. He was probably just shit, um, just treating you really bad. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You could have not felt like there was communication from this person or um, <clears throat> any loving. You didn't feel him as like a partner, her. Maybe he wasn't even sharing his money. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so technically you're just at the edge right now you're just like done with someone um i will get the romance angels oracle cards garden angels and spirit guides what messages can you add to this reading Garden Angels and Spirit Guides, what messages <clears throat> can you add to this reading? We have one card, Retreat, right there. So they're telling you that um, they're giving you advice. It says it's time to disconnect from the world. Um, okay, I got two more cards. Okay, perfect. So I have at the bottom of the deck deception. This person obviously made you feel really bad, was deceptive, was wearing a mask, was a lie. Finances and career fell out of the deck so i'm feeling like they could have been lying to you about their money maybe they didn't have money but they were saying they had money or maybe uh they had money but they were telling you no i don't have money but was giving it to another person and in past life relationship this could have been an ex by now or uh someone who just became an ex <clears throat> We also have uh, let your friends help you if you have any friends. I don't have no friends. I don't somewhat believe in friends. But, I mean, you don't have to really go out and make a friend. You know what I'm saying? Um, stay optimistic about your love life. So, yes. Um, heart and heart conversations and attraction. Before we go, I want to use my Psychic Tarot for the heart, but before that, I'm going to use my Amira's Oracle card. They will give us more um, information about this situation and what could have happened. Garden Angels and Spirit Guides, could you please give us more information? So this is Twin Flame and True Love. So you could have felt like this was a twin flame. <clears throat> Your true love, your one and only guardian angels and spirit guides. Give us one more message. I also saw triangle and passion. Someone had more one than one <laughs> than one than one. More than one lover. That's what I'm trying to say. My bad. Oh, my. I swear, every time I get on here, I get... My brain gets goes empty. We have a card. We have two cards. We have travel and freedom. So what I believe from these cards is maybe you met them traveling and also that... You should just um, free yourself from this trap, this situation to travel and free yourself from this drama 
this third party situation. Oh, Lord. One came out and look, I'm going to put my hands up. I ain't even making this up. I'm going to keep my hands up. I'm going to just put the camera down. Put the camera down. And I'm going to move the card. Move the cord. Right here. Triangle. Triangle. Can't make that up. I cannot make that up. So it's telling you to, you know, technically walk away from this situation. It could have been a soulmate. There's always money coming up. Maybe you something about money. You could have met them at work. Um, one more message, guardian angels and spirit guides. One more message. We have spiritual growth. So for your spiritual growth, for your sanity, to walk away from this person, I also get from this card that he is not on the spiritual level as you. He must still be on the baby game, still learning stuff. <clears throat> Ice King and past love. So yeah, Ice King is also, I always see this as an air sign. Um, cold person, you know, um, head of a heart type of person, like always thinking logically. <clears throat> they could have had children. He could have been a fair male. And he loves open relationships, maybe with long distance people. He could have been mature. You met him at work also. <clears throat> now I'm going to use my psychic tarot for the heart. Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides, what can you add to the situation? So you may be feeling lonely, you know, but they want you to, yeah, this came out again. <sighs> oh, um, sadness and isolation. You may be feeling lonely, but what this card is telling me is like, you see this person here, <clears throat> they're sad and lonely, but this is what they want you to do. To get out of that state. To know that this may not be um, your last relationship. To keep your hopes up. To find that you may in the future find some better or the one. And to open up. To not um, let this situation close your heart. And then we have love and shine. So... They may be wanting you to, like, <clears throat> not close your heart, but open your heart. Share the love. Your solar plexus to meditate um, in regards of your solar plexus. Your solar plexus helps with your intuition, your feelings. So they may be hurt right now. They mean more healing. Healing begins um, once you start meditating. And, um, yeah. 
to not let this overcome you, but overcome the situation. <clears throat> Last but not least, I will be using my self-care sacred uh, oracle cards. <clears throat> For advice, like what kind of self care you can do, so you can relax yourself, keep your mind off of this person. Guardian angels, bear guys, what messages can you give us for Pisces? Water signs. Water signs. What messages can you give us for water signs? <clears throat> oh, my, my. I love, I love when the cards always clarify what I'm saying. Meditate. I don't know if you can see it. This is why I want a better camera. Meditate. <clears throat> Meditate um, your solar plexus. Because that could have taken a big hit. And then we have... Let me put these up. <laughs> Love it. One more time. <clears throat> Intuition. Like I said, your solar plexus... Um, Affects your intuition. Um, what they may be saying is, use your intuition. Trust your intuition. Do we have dance? You may like to dance. You haven't danced. Dream journal. You may be having some dreams about this person. To write it down. Use your intuition. For example, um, <clears throat> let me give you a story. When I was... Um, with my ex baby father, I had a dream of him cheating on me, and it feels so realistic. And of course, when you have those kind of dreams, you're like, "Oh my gosh, I'm going crazy! That can't be true. What's going on?" And I feel bad or whatever, and. But I actually found out uh, like two days later that he was actually cheating on me. So that's what I'm getting from dream journal and intuition. Like trust your intuition. Your guardians are always taking care of you. Okay. They love you and they want the best for you. I'm going to just use one more deck. <clears throat> I will be using the Rebel deck, the Rebel deck. Garden Agents, for guys, please give us one more message. This is ask a fucking expert. And then don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional. Yeah, like I was saying about the friends. I wouldn't rely on friends too much. Maybe you have friends. 
I truly don't trust people. <laughs> and I don't mean it in a bad way. I just mean it like... Mm. I don't know how to say it, but <laughs> like I don't think you should put your trust on people. Um but yourself. It says love, we have love. It says get some, give some, it will cheer you up. And then I was trying and then the pleasure card was trying to come out on this deck. So yeah, yeah um to us ladies, you don't need a man. You know what I mean. So, um, and then I'll get one more card. Guardian angels and spirit guides. One more message for my water signs. Okay, we have be fucking grateful. She could go so much worse. So you may be feeling down in the dumps. And at the bottom of the deck, we have uh, believe what you see. Face reality or live in fucking La La Land. Choose bravely. So yes, Pisces. Um, what they're saying is be grateful. You could find someone else. You know, if that didn't work out. Next time, hopefully. Um, and then believe what you see. I couldn't say any better. Believe what you see in your dreams, what your intuition is trying to tell you. Alrighty, um, Pisces, thank you for coming to Lexi's Tarot Card Reading. And I will be doing pick a card readings in the further future. Right now, I will try to be doing other signs. And I hope you like your reading. And um, God bless you. Thank you.